Hey guys, it's G Marie. Um, this is part three of Cindy Watts interview commentary by me. The truth. All of us just want to want the truth. That's all. I, I, but I would like to know what she wants the truth, but because <laughs> she doesn't want the truth. She wants her normal young man, and he he's her normal. theory he's of what happens, and everyone to believe it. It wasn't normal if he did this. Must be bewildering. It's bewildering to First me. First she is, says he's normal, then she says he's not normal. How did this happen? How did this happen? And I go back in my mind thinking, that, was there something I didn't pick up with on Chris? But yeah, there's a lot of things. I can't think of anything except he was quiet. It sounds like in your own mind, you're unsure as to what happened. Yes. Why won't they do a psychological evaluation on him? Like, why does he get a choice to not, you know, to opt out of it? I think that's in, an injustice right there. The words that she uses, though. And I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there right now. But in, I don't see why he's pleading guilty. I wouldn't. I'd fight. Oh, here we go about I'd yourself. It's not them. about you. But then you ask yourself. Yeah, you'd fight even though you were guilty. Just like you taught him to do. Dispose of the bodies the way he did. Uh, and I, I would have called 911. The bodies. It's, like she's that. like far what removed from the whole right tragedy here. If we were by ourselves. I would say, Christopher, I need to know what happened that night. I need to know. She says I so many times. I need to know. I've I need got, to know. I I've need to, to know. I've got to get these thoughts out of my head. I, I, what you I think better give the answer that I want. Happens, but I need to know. And I think in time... She's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> no. She won't stop. She won't stop until her name is cleared. It's basically all about her. He's a reflection of her and the family. In her eyes, anyway. Yeah. What about their they emotional needs well. and um, thought, emotional you know, like, welfare? You know, he, he was quiet and he didn't check up on that. On. So, so you're not supposed to make your marriage work, work either? I mean, I feel too much. I mean, I definitely feel everything way too much. You know? She does the opposite. She doesn't feel that, anything at all. That. There's no tears. <laughs> Jesus. It's probably got a cold or something. <laughs> I want Chris to have his day in court. I mean, I need to know. Uh, I, 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 I. He only chose. He made his decision, lady. And it was without your influence for once in his life. Go on. But He's he pissed about it. that. If he did not do this, then I... I need, I, 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 I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, we gotta count how many eyes are in this interview. Seriously. He's my son. Someone do a I've remix got, of this. I've got to do everything I can to help. To make sure that, that he. I, 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 I,
she looks so stupid. Like, she seems so, like, juvenile. We don't. Like a little kid. Nope. The only person that knows what happened is Chris. Well, Chris is told you his story, you know, in the affidavit. Ladies, shut up, please. You look crazy. They said they would defend him if he wanted to, to go forward. She wants but to an alternate reality. She, she, said he didn't want to go she forward. desperately wants this. Wow. You, you could, could tell. I would have. That's what I thought we were going down. At least let us talk to him. <sighs> let us talk to him. Let us talk to him. It would have made all the difference in the world. Yeah. Just let us talk. It would if have he been on. Your influence but would have made a big difference on what he would have said to everybody. That's why. He did a horrible, horrible. If, if that's He's easily influenced by you and, and women in and general. I still love him. He's my son. And I will always love him. He and needs to stand on his own two feet. And take accountability and responsibility for once in his life. Well, That's why they didn't let you uh, talk to him. Uh, some things we talked about yesterday, he said, I think, I think your exact words were, he's not the psychopath next door. He isn't. Story. He's not the sociopath next door. He's not the psychopath. He didn't kill little small animals. He, he didn't do any of Jesus these things. He was, he was a good child. You know, uh, there are other I didn't see it. signs other I didn't than killing see small animals. That that would make you a sociopath or a psychopath. Was socially awkward. You know, he had trouble socializing. Did you but find so out about that? Did you look more into he, it? I think you learn that as you grow. No. She just and swept it under the rug. felt a little bit more comfortable and more comfortable in his skin. And he, he, uh, he just, uh, I don't He's think he just fine. had the right mm. person at his side. Oh. Yeah, you're right about that. You're right about that. The right, you are not the right person by his side, as in his own mother. She's like, oh, I gotta talk about her again. Oh. Do you have to bring her up? It's not about her. It's just she's thinking. <laughs> 